Hello, good morning and assalamu alaikum to all of my grade 3 students. I'm your teacher over here with a new lecture for all of you. And as you can see, today's topic is word problems. So this is going to be a very interesting topic. Last time we covered the word problems of chapter number 2. But today uh, I have we are going to start solving the word problems of chapter number 3. So I just hope so that... This is uh, going to be an interesting task for you and I will try my level best to make it as much easy as I can. So let's have a look. Task of the day. Task of the day is very interesting and I just select only, uh, you can see that only three pages and there are total four word problems that we will cover today. So I just decided to go smoothly with all of you. So that's why we have a very less work to cover today. So... First of all, what we need to do, we need to revise that the important steps for solving the word problems. You guys just need to understand that what are the important steps that you need to solve the word problems. Do you remember? Okay, let's just have a quick view. Read. Yes, read the word problems two times to understand its concept. As I told you, you can translate the whole word problem into an Urdu, into your mind. And then you can start thinking about it. Consider. Consider is the point where you just start thinking about what they ask you and what you need to find out. Then we have a plan. Yes, plan is something that what you're going to do. Whether you need to subtract, multiply, divide. That's your plan. Then the fourth step is to write, yes, this is something very easy. Once you understand that what you are, what you are going to do, then you will write down. The last, second last step is to solve. Yes, this is called your working column where you subtract, multiply and the last one is evaluate. Evaluate means you are going to check your answers that whether you solve the questions correctly or wrongly. This is a very important step. Most of the time students skip this evaluation part but this is very important step to check your answers. So let's move on. Yes, so now my students open your workbook page number 100. And you're going to mention your date and day on the top of the workbook. Don't forget to mention your date. And let's just start solving the questions. Factory A produces 54 pizzas crust in a day. Factory B produces 4 times as many pizzas crust as factory B in a day. Okay, so first of all, uh, you need to translate the whole word problem into your mind that there is a one factory A which produces... 54 pizzas and yes 54 pizzas in a day and factory b produces four times as many as crust so times is the word which represent tables i told you that times represent tables so let me get my pen to underline this word yes times is the word which represent that it's about tables and four times means Factory B is producing four times more pizzas than the factory A. This is something that you need to translate and understand into your mind. And then we are going to move on to the question. How many pizzas crust does factory B produces in a day? They simply did not tell you what are the uh, pizzas rate. So they tell you that the uh, pizza's rate of only factory A not factory B and they just ask you how ma many pizza's crust does factory B produce in a day and as you can see in this word problem our work is going to be very easy because they just uh, give you a bar model as well but this bar model is a bit different from the bar model that we covered uh, in the addition and subtraction but see we are going to find the value of the whole this bar and whenever we want to find the value of the whole bar, we add in that case. And you need to just understand one thing that addition and multiplications are the same thing. Multiplication is basically a repeated addition. So in this word problem, what you're going to do, you will multiply 54 factory A pizza's rate with the multiplication of 4 times. You will multiply it with the 4 and then you will get your answer. So first of all, what you're going to do, you will go to the corner of your workbook and start doing your working. So start reading the four times table. Four fours are, four fours are 16. So you will write down six over here and one will be on the top. Okay, now start reading the four times table till five. Four fives are 20. And when we add one in it, our answer is 21. So see how simply we got the answer. 
Our answer is 216. Okay, so this is the pizzas that factory B is producing in a day. So you will write down your answer over here as well. And you will write down factory B produces 216 pizzas crushed in a day. So you got your answer. Part A is solved. Let's move on to the part B. What the question that they give you. How many pizzas crushed do the factories produces all together? Okay. All together means you are going to add the pizzas crushed of both the factories. Easy. So let's move on to the part B. This is on the same page 100. Factory B produces 216 crusts in a day. This is something that we have sol solved already. So for the part B, you, this is a crust of factory A. And now you are going to fill the answers over here, 216. This is the pizza's crust of factory B. So now again, you need to do a rough work on the corner of your workbook. You are going to add. Yes, just simply add it. Bigger number in your mind, 6 in your mind, 4 in your finger. Our answer is 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 1 will be carry on. 5, 6, 7. Yes, 7. And there is a no number for the 2 to add up. So it will come down. It will come down over here. And your answer is 270. Yes, easy. I told you that once you understand the word problem, once you start taking interest in the word problems, then your word problems will be very easy and interesting for all of you. But it just needs your patience and understanding. So factories produces 270 pieces crust all together. All together is the word which really solves your all the confusion. Okay, so now my students, let's move on to the Verbal page number 101. These two words problems are very easy because everything is written over here. And you are just putting the numbers, doing your working and you got your answer. So let's uh, start reading the word problem first. What they ask you, Sam had rupees 152. Okay, Sam is a boy and he has this much amount, 152. Juhao had rupees 23 less than Sam. Okay, so you need to understand that there is another boy and he has 23 rupees less but then Sam. Less is the word which tells you that he has less amount than the Sam. And had three times as much money as Juhavo. Okay, times is the word which helps you to start reading the table but there is a one thing that you need to understand that you don't know the money of Juhavo. So let's move on to our question number A. But first, let's translate this whole word problem into your mind that there are three boys. Sam had 150 rupees, you know its amount. Juhavo had 23 less than Sam. So first of all, we need to figure out this one. How much money did Juhavo had? See? I told you, first of all, we need to find out that how much actually the money Juhavo had. So, as you can see in the bar model, whenever we need to find out a small area in that column, we subtract. And less is the word which also shows that you are going to subtract. So, you will write down over here 152, subtract 23. And on the corner of your workbook, you will just simply subtract. Okay, look at the values. Okay, more on the top? No, it's more on the floor. Yes, our floor number is bigger. So we are going to the next door. We are just turning a, it into a 4 and we will take the help. Okay, 12 minus 3. What will be our answer? Our answer will be 9. Now... 4 minus 2, our answer is 2. And 1 will come as it is. So what's our answer? Our answer is 129. Now your part A is solved. Write down the answer over here as well. That Juhao had rupees 129. Now let's read the second statement. How many money did Anne have? Okay, for the Anne they give us a clue that Anne had Three times as much money as Juhavo. Okay, you need to be very careful about the name that 
and had three times more money than Johavu, not Sam. So you are going to use this answer in your second step. So let's solve the second part. First of all, they give you a bar model and now you know the amount of Johavu. So you will write down your answer over here, 129 over here. This is the amount of Johavu and Anne had three times more. So one box is there, two are left. So what we're going to do? We are going to multiply. Times is the word which gives us a clue that multiply. So 129 multiply by 3. Again, there is a lot of space. You will do your work. Rough work over here. Yes. Yeah. So start solving this rough work. Okay. Start reading the 3 times table. 3 nines are. 3 nines are 27. So you will write down 7 over here. 2 on the top. 3 twos are. 6 and 6 plus 2, it makes 8 and then 3 ones are 3. Okay, see we got the answer. These word problems are very easy and not difficult at all. Just understand it. Same answer will be here. See how easy this word problem is. Times is the word and had 3 times as much money as Johavo. So 3 times is the word which gives us a clue to multiply. And previously the for the part A, less is the word which help us. So my students, I hope so that you start enjoying these word problems. Let's move on to our next page. Okay, this is the second last word problem that we are covering today. Open your workbook page number 102. For these word problems, my students, you need uh, a proper, you can say that uh, space is given and you will solve your questions. You will write down all the part which is written with the, uh, this purple color. You will uh, write down the work on your Word books and it's better to draw the lines and then write these words then it your work will look very neat so let's move on to the question a school orders 372 boxes of plastic shapes okay they just will buy a plastic shapes like triangles squares and you can say that rectangle different kind of plastic shapes they bought and the boxes were 372 we just translated okay each box contains three triangles and five squares. Okay, first of all, school bought total 372 boxes. And in each box, one box has three triangles and five squares. So let's see that what's the question for us. How many plastic shapes are there in each box? This is so simple. They already give us that each box have three triangles, five squares. So you will write down triangles, three, squares, three, five, and each box plastic shapes are three plus five. That's very easy. Three plus five makes your answer eight. Yes, fill it. Easy? This word problem is very easy. Even they give you uh, the answers and the simple addition, just three plus five makes your answer turn into a eight. For the second part B, how many plastic shapes are there in the boxes all together? Okay, now they just want that how many total shapes are there in the boxes. They, uh, they just give you the quantity of the boxes and then you find out the value of each box. So now our part is very easy. How many plastic shapes are there in the boxes all together? All together is the word which show us addition. And addition sign is used for in the form of multiplication as well. So we got the clue. And for the part B, you will write down all together plastic shapes. So what you're going to do, you will write down your numbers and tens. You will multiply 372 multiply by 8. This is the number statement. 8 is the word that we find out. So same answer we will use over here. And now on the corner of this, you will just make your working column. Okay, this is about, this is very easy. This is about eight times table. So don't get confused. I tell you all a lot of eight times table techniques. So, and you can learn also. So eight twos are, or two eights are 16. Six here, one will pop. Okay, it can be eight sevens are, or seven eights are. So do you remember the seven times technique, four numbers that we have learned, 42, 49, 56. So you can use and learn in that way as well. So you will write down 
seven eights are or eight sevens are 56 and then when you add one so it will become 57 so seven will be here and five will go on the top it's a bigger number to add okay now eight threes are or three eights are in both cases the answer will be same eight threes are 24 and when we add five in it our answer is 29 okay see it's just a simple multiplication questions that you have solved over here so same answer you will write over here your answer will be 2976 and there are you will write down the ending statement 2976 shapes altogether. easy I hope so that you guys have understand that because this word problem first step is very easy. You just need to add these two numbers and in the for the part B, you simply multiply. I told you it will be a fun. Let's move on to the last word problem of the day. Okay, now we are on the same page, verbal page number 102 and this is the last word problem of the day. A tray of cookies takes 45 minutes to prepare. Actually, they tell you that the uh, uh, person is going to bake a cookies and a tray takes 45 minutes to prepare one tray. A tray means one tray. A tray of cupcakes takes 65 minutes to prepare. Okay, one cupcake tray takes almost 65 minutes to prepare. Mrs. Lee prepared one tray of cookies and four trays of cupcakes. Here is a th point that we need to think that one tray cookie time is mentioned and one tray of cupcake timing is mentioned. But over here, she baked four trays of cupcakes. So what we need to find out, how much time does she take in all? Okay, this is a, you can say that a kind of a bit uh, you know, tricky statement for all of you, how much time she take in all. This is simply means that how much total time she takes to bake these cupcakes and cookies. So you don't need to get confused. That's why I said that read the statements two times. They're just simply asking you how much time she takes in all to prepare all the cupcakes and cookies. And the twisting point for you is that she bakes four trays of cupcakes and they give you a time of one cup cupcakes timing. So what you're going to do, you will write down on your workbook, cookies time is 45 minutes and cupcakes take 65 minutes. So you can even mention one tray of cupcakes takes 65 minutes. So to find out the four trays of cupcake, what we need to do, what we are going to do, rather than adding them again and again 65 plus 65 again and again it's better what we do we will start treating a repeated addition method that is a multiplication so you will simply multiply 4 6 r and then you will write down 4 multiply by 65 is your total timing so you will multiply 65 by 4 okay over here i just mentioned a bit uh, you can say that a point for you as well i'm not going to solve the working of this word problem you will multiply by yourself and you will find out the answer over here after writing the answer over here and over here you have now a last step to do that is how much time does she take in all total time so to find out the total time you will write down total time she takes so you will you can write down over here total time she takes s is important over here so you will write down now your answer over here and then you will plus 45 minutes that is a time of a cookies and then you will get your answer so your second working will be also uh, you can say that related to the part one first you will multiply and then the answer you will add over here you will write over here and you will get your answer i'm not doing the working for all of you because i just want you to do the working by yourself at least rather than copying the answers from the lecture and do this self-effort by yourself and improve your skills. So this is uh, something that I leave for all of you and you guys should do it by yourself. And it's really easy, it's just a four times table multiplication. Okay, that's all for today. Reminder, don't forget to write date and day on your work. And it's especially for those kids, can't someone else just do it for uh, you? This is for those kids who are very lazy about uh, doing any stuff and they just want their moms and other siblings do their work for themselves, especially writing a date and days. Uh, you can say that mostly done by mothers on the workbook. So this is for all those kids who are lazy. Please do it by yourself. 
and you practice of multiplication and division regularly because our rest of the word problems will be totally uh, you can say that depending on the multiplication and division and it's very important to learn it properly otherwise uh, it will be very difficult for you to understand the word problem that's all for today take care bye bye Thank you.